Hi YouTube, we are back. Today I'm gonna speak about a subject that no one wants to speak. I was doing a research online about the one inch punch, the one that Bruce Lee did on a convention many years ago. And I noticed that everybody's playing the one inch punch, but nobody tells you what is the you know the purpose of that punch. Here with me Sandy, he's helping me. I wanna explain to you what is the one inch punch. Everybody saw Bruce Lee doing on a convention like kind of sideways and he was like kind of close and then he punched the guy went into a chair well most of the people in the martial arts know that's incorrect because he uses the muscles in the back and foot so sorry guys there's really another one inch punch the real one inch punch the people in Wing Chun they explain they like to explain proper structure proper structure of the body proper alignment and moving you know the, the and doing the punch but that's really an exercise. And when you look at the history of the Wing Chun, basically it was created by a, by, um, a lady called, called Jin Wing Chun during a period after the destruction of the Queen government on the Southern Chao, um, the Queen government on the Southern Shaolin. Um, she refused to marry a local warlord and she was helped by a, by a nun called NG Mui. Supposedly, that, that's the lady who showed her the Wing Chun, you know, the, the style, the system, whatever you want to call it. Well, in reality, this is the one inch punch the way I know, and it's a practice method. It's not a punch that you can do to somebody because if you want to do a one inch punch in an argument, try to use an elbow or a knee, why are you going to use a, a one inch punch on somebody? So, the one inch punch in reality is a practice method for other punches. For instance, put the, the me. So this is the reality of the one inch punch. So you can get the alignment of the hit, so you can do other punches for the hit like this. So that's a powerful, a really powerful punch that you can use. So you learn to do that through the one inch punch for them. So you use this the one inch punch so you can learn this move of the hip. And when you are fighting on you are in really close range, this one you can use the, the, the proper hip for that is a one inch punch. In reality, you are not gonna hit anybody there like that. Nobody's gonna lay you in the middle of an argument to hit it with an one inch point. So I don't know why they waste the time and explain it if they don't know the use. I don't think most of the windshield people know how to use this particular punch. It can be used to break, you know, in, in a close quarter as a preemptive striking, but again, in reality, it's for that. The other uses I have for the one inch punch to close the camera is when you do this movement you are actually learning how to close the fist so if you're gonna do like a hammer fist or a side punch it's better if you close the fist in the moment of the impact that gives you like more power and try it if you don't believe me try it use the other one please the other hand use the other hand so the one inch punch is just a practice method instead of doing instead of hitting like with the fist closed you hit with the hand open and closes at the moment of the impact. That's gonna cause a lot of damage. You can do it to the forearm of the adversary in a, moment, in a fight, but that's the purpose of the one in punch. I never saw Bruce Lee explain it. I haven't seen anyone on the internet explain it. I just see them teaching you proper alignment, proper technique, but for what is the one in punch? Now you know, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, hit me with a comment, and thank you very much.